Hey everyone, so here's an update. Last week I had weighed in at 191.7 and today I weighed in at 187.7. So that is a total loss of 80, 88, 9, 9, 91. That is four pounds. That is pretty good. But you see, I feel like because like the low I had told you guys that the lowest I had been was 185. That was like probably like four weeks ago or so. Um, before I went to a trip, I went to Puerto Rico with my mom and my sister, and then I had gained, you know, all the weight I had worked for. So then I was back up to 191. That's the highest I've been for a very long time. Probably in a year, I haven't been this high in weight. And then um, when I usually go up that high, my weight really drops pretty quickly. I haven't really done a lot. I just been, I have been exercising like always, you know, not every single day but probably like three four times a week which is you know okay my eating habits when i do eat a lot when i do eat like at night i see the results obviously in the scale that i gain weight or that you know it's I, i'm a little heavier then when i don't eat at night or i eat something light you know it's lower so like yesterday i didn't eat much at night so that's why my weight was 187 so i don't know how realistic that is <laughs> but <sighs> I'll just have to wait and see until next week. Um, my goal for next week will be 186 or 185 if I'm lucky. <laughs> I hope 185. Um, I I have two big, two big news. I guess it doesn't really involve weight loss, but it's two big things in my life. I got my first car, as in like I paid myself or I'm trying to pay it off myself. And I got a Mercedes Benz, is a 2006 convertible. So it is really exciting, and um, but it is really expensive. And that the car payments are gonna be really high. Well, for me at least. <laughs> and um, insurance, oh my gosh, insurance was driving me crazy because like two months ago, my first accident that I got into, like I was reversing and I guess I didn't really like take my time looking, I was kind of careless. And I ended up hitting someone um, in the side. So that really messed up my insurance. So now my insurance is really way high up. So last night I was like stressing so much. I'm like breaking out everywhere. You guys, I don't know if you guys can see, but I'm under a lot of stress and a lot of pressure. And I did put myself in this position and every single person I, I like, told them that I was getting this car, told me not to get it. And honestly, it annoys the crap out of me because, like, it's my decision. But at the same time, I know where they're coming from and I know that they want to help and I know that they're older and, you know, they've already been through experiences like that. But fuck that. Like, it, I don't know. Like, I just... It's my dream car and I never thought I could get it. And if this is my time to shine, I guess, then let it be, you know? And... It is a used car, so, you know, it's going to be, there could be, like, problems that happen. <sighs> so it's a lot. <laughs> you know, it's a used car. It's a very expensive car. So all the pieces, you know, even the oil changes and the gas is, like, super high. So, oh, and especially gas how it is now. Like, I have to put the most expensive one there. But, yeah, anyway, so I've only had it probably for, like, three or four days. I'll see if I can try to squeeze a picture here of my car. I love it so much. Um, So, yeah, so I've been, like, like um, for insurance and stuff, but I finally found it today. I'm so happy. I'm so relieved. It is still a little high for my price, but I try to pay it all in full for six months. So it will be a little less stress off my back for those six months. <laughs> okay, that is my first news. I got my first car by myself. I'm so excited. You know, uh, a lot of people try to not bring me down, I guess, be realistic. But I just want to be happy for myself. I want to be naive. I want to be stupid. I want to be 22. I want to have a Mercedes Benz and hopefully you know, be smart about it and try to save up and, you know, in case of emergencies. I don't know. That's that's what I'm going by right now. So, please, I don't, I don't, I'm just so sick and tired of hearing everyone telling me, like, it's a bad idea, blah, blah, blah. It's just, I just want to be me. I just want to do me, you know? <laughs> Anyways, aside from that, the next Next, next, next good news is that I just got my Insanity workout. Um, I ordered it online. 
it, I ended up paying $130 for it. I went to Beachbody.com and that's where um they have this workout. I did think about P90X, but um I don't know. I felt like 60 days maybe was a little bit more realistic and um 40 I, like I just did the pros and cons. Like P90X is like 90 minutes a day, I think. I'm not no not not I'm sorry, like 75 minutes a day. And then where insanity is like 45 minutes, you know, like <sighs> I just want to do something that fits me. And also this is um it's a lot more like crazy cardio and I'm ready for it. <laughs> One thing that I did think that wasn't so great was that I mean not nothing to do with the program but the fact like in my house like where I live I live in my basement and it's all carpet. So if I'm going to be like sweating a lot I don't know, I'm going to have to wear like a headband or something because my floor is going to be nasty and I don't want to be sweating in my carpet. So I don't know what I'm going to do about that. Anyway, so I'm really excited for it. My boyfriend wanted to get started with me, but he has the opposite problem of mine. Like I'm trying to lose weight and he's trying to gain weight. <laughs> you know, as a man, they want to be heavier or whatever. So I don't know if this is going to help him because this is like all cardio, cardio, cardio and usually cardio is to lose weight. So, I don't think he wants to do it with me anymore after, like, doing some research on it, which really sucks because it's nice to have someone to do it with you. It makes it a little fun. It makes it a little more, like, you know, you have a little bit more in encouragement. I don't know. Like, you ha you feel like doing it a little more. And it can get, like, competitive, you know. So, it's fun. But, <sighs> you know, I just, I don't, I hope I don't stop because it is awkward, you know, like, if you're home and then... He's just watching you work out. <laughs> I don't know, you know. But I guess I'm going to have to do it on my own. You know, this is for me, my body. So I got to do what I got to do. So I'm excited. I have no idea when I'm going to start today. I just, just got it in the mail. Like right now, I just got back from work and I got it in the mail. But I don't know if I want to get started because in an hour, I have to go meet some friends. And I don't want to go meeting my friends looking a hot mess. <laughs> so I might not do that. I wasn't expecting this to come so soon. So either I do it when I get back, which would be like a 10 at night. And my boyfriend might be home and I don't want him like awkwardly staring at me. Or I might do it like tomorrow morning. Like I have to figure out a good schedule. Like what do you guys prefer? Do you prefer working out at night night? Or do you prefer working out like as soon as you wake up? I don't know what's better. I mean, I like it either way. I don't I don't mind it. I, I work out whenever, I guess. It just depends the situations that's going on. Like, if my boyfriend's going to be sitting here and he has nothing to do or he wants to sleep. You know, it's kind of, 10 is kind of late, so if he wants to sleep, I don't want to be, like, making all, like, oh, noises, you know? <laughs> Anyways, um, have you guys tried P90X or any other workouts? Like, I heard also turbo, like, turbo kick or something, which would be my next thing I wanted to try, aside from P90X. I did want to try P90X as well, but I don't know. So I'm going to try this one first, and then probably turbo kick, and then maybe P90X. We'll see. It is really pricey, and then my situations that I'm going through, I don't know if they're going to work out so well, because, you know, the new car and everything, all those payments, rent payments, and all that junk. We will see. But anyways, this is a more than a long video. I lost four pounds. Wait, 88, 8, 90, 91. I don't know if it's three or four pounds, whatever. Around there somewhere. <laughs> I did lose weight, but I don't feel like it's fair because I just feel like I gained it super fast because I ate a lot and then it just went down really fast. So I don't think it counts until next week, but we will see. I guess if the scale says it's good, then it must be good. Anyways. Nice talking to you guys, and hopefully everyone is doing good as well. And good luck to Michelle, because she's trying this as well. She's also doing P90, I mean, Insanity. <laughs> so hopefully, maybe we can get started on the same day. I don't know. If you guys have it, maybe we can all get started on the same day. That would be awesome. Encourage each other. We will see how this goes. If I do do it, I will make a video tomorrow, and if I don't, I will make a video when I do when I do get started to show you guys and show my before pictures. Ew, I don't want to take before pictures, but I have to because I want to see a difference when I'm done. I really hope I stick to this. 60 days is a long time, and you know what? I didn't even finish the 30 day shred. That was 30 days. That was one month. This is two months. I don't know if I'm going to finish, but I hope I do.
because I've seen the results and wow. I mean, I know those results are like extra exaggerated and everything, but still, man, those are good as results. So hopefully I get, even if I lose like 10 pounds, I'd be happy as hell. Anyways, good luck to everyone and hopefully everyone's doing really good. Bye-bye.